exciting football. It began all here in the first half when the referee blew her whistle for our first to get underway here at the Accra Sports Stadium. And Senegal making incursions. Malado Diallo with that effort for Senegal. And Ghana also making incursions. And goalkeeper in the eye being called to party. Ghana kept on. So did the Senegalese national team also keep on piling pressure. And Deborah Brown was called to action in the first half. Of which she did so much well with good saves. The Senegalese continued with the surge, with the probing, and their efforts paid off. Effort that paid off was that they ended the first half without conceding. But the second half began so, so much strongly for Ghana's Black Maidens as their captain, Georgina Aisha, registered the first goal of the day for the Black Maidens. She did so well to go through two players and slot in the ball in order for Ghana to get the second, the first goal of the day. And Ndiaye continued with her saves. Ghana equally continued with the probing. And Karima Abdullah here gave the ball to Princess Owusu, who wasted no time in order to slot it in to register Ghana's second goal of the day. Ndiaye, of course, disappointed and frustrated, could not hide her unhappy countenance. Ghana continued with their search, despite being shown the red card in the second half. They continued with their probing, their surging runs, and it earned them the second goal of the day, the third through Abdullah Karima. So Ghana have now gotten the nod to qualify to the next round of the competition of the FIFA and the 17 Women's World Cup. The qualification for the African continent, which began fortnight ago. So it's Ghana 3, Senegal 0. I have been your commentator for the day, Esther.